That old coach that used to say, if you're even, you're leaving. And that's what <laughs> happened on that. He'd always tell the quarterback when the receiver's even with the DB, that means he's leaving. And when that ball was in, when he threw the ball, the DB and the receiver were pretty much stride for stride. But while the ball was in the air, Dixon left him. Here's Madrano. The extra point is up, and the Bulldog stop extra point is good by Madrano. Carthage now leading it 38 to 6 here at Bulldog Stadium. We'll be back right after this. Because you're a fan of fresh made just the way you like it pizza, you'll love Country Fresh Pizza Carthage. We make it, you make it. From a 10-inch to a 16-inch, even gluten-free crust is offered at Country Fresh Pizza. The Farmer's Delight features six meats and six veggies. The vegetable garden with all the veggies. The rise and shine with eggs and cheddar. The crafty farmer to build your own. And even Alfredo Pizza. Call 903-631-0246 to order. 636 West Panola, the white building with the bright graphics. It's delicious. It's Country Fresh Pizza. Cardinal fans, it's football season. Come see all the new things going on at Lamar University football games. The new Cardinal Lane tailgating area has live music, jumpers, and a video game truck for kids. Over 20 corporate sponsors handing out free food, drinks, and gear. Cardinal Lane opens four hours before kickoff. Lamar now has, at home games, all new in-game entertainment for you. If you haven't already, make sure you purchase your tickets now. Season tickets as low as $45. Single game tickets as low as $10. Excited to see you in the stands cheering on the Cardinals all season. Go! All right, uh, Madrano getting ready to tee it up for the kickoff. Bulldog scoring on a 69-yard pass to Calvante Dixon. Okay, Jason, we're going to go down to you after the kickoff here. Bulldogs leading it now 38-6 to over the Marshall Mavericks. Bulldogs uh, going to go 2-0 against 5A competition this year, defeating uh, Jacksonville in the first ball game. Here's the kickoff by Madrano. High end over end, not too deep this time. They're going to take it at the 10, coming up to the 15, going to his left. That was a mistake as he tries Kip to go Lewis. across the field, and he's going to be stopped at the 15-yard line. And old Bobo huh? calls, dog. The old Bobo flushed him inside, and Kip Lewis wiped him up. Okay, Jason, down to you. XL forward line, XL sideline mic. Yeah, great coverage there on the kickoff, and Coach Preston pumping his fist, telling him, way to go, boys. Also, just to also reiterate, on that big, long 69-yard touchdown pass. I think when you guys said in the first week against Jacksonville, it may take a few games to, for, uh, for the quarterback, Horton, to get his touch on the deep pass. Looks like it's coming around. All right, so the Marshall Mavericks are going to have it first and 10 at their own 16. And let's see who the quarterback is on this particular possession. It's going to be Savion Williams. Savion Williams is going to take the snap. Got a back flanking him on each side. And hands off to a back going to the right. And no, do, let's see, going to the left to the 20, 21 yard line. Gain of about five on that running play. Yeah, he kept that ball. Larry. Oh, he kept it, okay. He kept it. And he's going to be, a, is he a junior? I think he is a senior, but let's see. He yeah, is. somebody's going to be looking at him for something. He may be a track star as fast as he looks. Okay, so he picked up five yards there. And that means it's second down and five now. Game now pretty much out of hand. Carthy's leading at 38 to six. And this time, Williams gonna pitch it out this time going left and, and it's gonna be a short game, make it no gain. It was Whitlock there, wasn't it? Uh, it was Ravon. Ravon. He just everywhere. Six and eight kind of looked like, but that was old Ravon. Okay, so now it's third down and five. Third down and five, 8.40 to play. Bulldogs are going to be at home next week. The Gimmer Buckeyes coming to town. And that's never a runaway, usually. <laughs> this is regular pretty tough foot, football game between those two. It was, though, last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, something tells me, was it 60 to 14 or something like that? Yeah, it, was, it was bad. It was bad. Okay, third down and five. Third down and five for Marshall at their own 21-yard line. Snap back to Williams. Hands off the running back. No, let's see. Williams got it himself, and he's tucker for a loss. Guess who? Bubble. Ravon Ingram. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm trying to throw that in there. <laughs> so a loss back to the 18. That's going to be a loss of three on the play. And now Marshall, surely they're not going to go for it. No, they're going to kick it. 
Line of, and remember, we've blocked two. We've blocked two. It's gonna, it, line of scrimmage is going to be the 17. Did you say that 91 was akin to you? Mm-hmm. What, what, what's, how's that connection? Oh. Uh, uh, Brooks? Uh, no, on okay. my dad's side. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, fourth down and nine. And, again, remember the Bulldogs have blocked two. They blocked the last two. Another rainbow high snap. He gets this one off, however. And it's going to be, oh, they're going to get a nice roll out of that. Hit at the 40, across midfield, across the 45. They're going to get a 20-yard roll on that. And it will be a net punt of 10 and 33, 43 yards. Hey, Larry, I'm going to tell you, Anthony Wilson's coming into the game. And, uh, you know, he's come into, I guess, all three of our games now. Just this one a little bit later than the previous two. All right. And we'll see. I think I think I saw uh, Connor Davis still in there, and I believe I saw T. Kellum. So maybe the offensive line. Yep, yeah. the offensive line is still intact. And it'll be Anthony Wilson, who is 12 of 17 through the air this year for 145 yards, one touchdown. Hunter Dubos is the tight end. And you got Cy Schumacher in at fullback. Jaden Thomas at tailback. Okay, snap back to Wilson, handoff. Fumble. No, no fumbles, fumbles, and they got it. Fumble on the play, first first snap to Wilson, a fumble, and Marshall comes up with a recovery. First turnover of the night, and it goes against Carthage. Well, I don't know who to blame on that. They didn't just didn't go together, look like. Well, sometimes, you know, football is a time in sport, and sometimes you get mixed matches in there. Late in ball games, you got people who aren't used to playing together. I'm not saying that was the case on that, but that does happen. Looks like Surratt's words there were for Thomas coming off. Okay. And just uh, <laughs> Okay, let's see. Javon King going out there. And let's see. Also, I see uh, Nate Mary. Uh, looks like I see uh, the, some guys familiar numbers on the defensive line. Yeah, they're most of them. Okay. Burris in there to get the snap. And bad snap. And they pick it up and pick up yardage. It hit a back, and then he picks it up, and he's to the 30, 25, 20. And inside the 20-yard line, it hit a back going in motion on the snap. He picked it up, and there's a flag on the play. We got a hanky. And Ravon Ingram mm -hmm. tracks him down all the way from the opposite side of the field. Well, from k Gas's point of view, he would probably Personal be the foul. defensive player. Face again. mask. Number 84 of the defense. We have to just do the goal. Automatic first down. The player lost his helmet. Did not have to leave. Okay, so it goes from the 37 down to the 18. So that's a 19-yard gain on the running play. Again, it hit a man who was in motion. It wasn't supposed to hit him. And then the penalty is tacked on at the end. And so the bottom line, Marshall gets their seventh first down of the ball game. They have it now first and goal at the Carthage nine. Snap back to Burris. Burris wants to throw it. Pretty good protection. Throws over the middle. This ball is intercepted in the end zone. Intercepted. I wonder who ball. got that, Mark. I don't know his name. I had not <laughs> caught it all night. Ravon Ingram on the interception. He's all over the field. Okay, so an interception by the Bulldogs. And um, that will be the first Marshall turnover. So we turn it over. Marshall gives it back. You know, Mark said something uh, – he was talking about Ravon's instincts, and that's exactly some of that stuff. Instincts are something that you really can't teach. You either got it or you don't, and he's definitely got an abundance of it. Okay, Wilson's going to stay in there at quarterback. Uh, see Schumacher in there. Got a new tailback. That number three. Vontavious Gibson. Vontavious Gibson, okay. All right, Wilson, the quarterback. Pitch out to Gibson. Gibson going left. Now goes back to the right. Running room. 25-30. Good 35, stiff arm. 40. Still on his feet. across the 40-yard line is going to be a house AC first down of pickup of 23 yards. Kind of mm -hmm. Earl Camelish. Yeah, that was a good. So Gibson for 23 out to the 43-yard line. The number 50 is going in. That Staten. is Kate Staten. And coming out at right tackle is Kay Johnson. The old hogs, we don't miss them much, but on both ends, both sides of the ball have played good tonight. Yes. First down and 10 now for Carthage at their own 43. Six minutes left to play, so half of the fourth quarter left to go here. All right, Wilson, hand off. No, fumbles. Gibson picked it up. 
He dropped it, then picked it back up, and he's going to pick up about three yards to the 46. They push him back, but he gains three. Well, that bobbled handoff threw off the timing. He did a good job of holding on to it. I was one of them hogs back in the 78, 77, and uh, they never mentioned my name until I got a penalty. <laughs> well, we're trying to rectify that now, Mark. <laughs> Number 74, Carson Williams coming out, and he's being replaced by a sophomore, Zachary Carlisle, 6'2", 330. Wow. You weren't 6'2", 330, were you? No, I was little and quick. 165 of Rolling Thunder. Second down and seven for Carthage at their own 46. Wilson, the quarterback, under center. And he hands off to Gibson. Gibson uh, with a short yard is there. Then he's pushed back, pushed way back. But he did gain the 48-yard line, so a gain of two for Gibson. And uh, Carthage now will be facing third down and five. 440 to play in the ball game. Clock rolling here. What would you weigh, uh, Otis, when you played? 155, soaking wet. <laughs> Third down and five. Again, the Bulldogs at home next week against the Gilmore Buckeyes. Remember, Chalk Talk. And if you're, if you're coming, bring your own food if you're going to eat during the noon hour because uh, no longer any food there at Chalk Talk and no cost. Okay. Starts at 12 o'clock at the, at the field house. Third down and five for the Bulldogs at their own 48-yard line. Wilson going to be in the shotgun this time. Eight seconds on the play clock. Snap back to Wilson. He's going to throw it. Throws left. This ball is dropped. Almost a nice catch there by the uh, tight end, no. Hubert. Uh, excuse me, Hunter DeBose. You know, you really hate that when you get to come in yeah. and play and the ball hits you in the hands. and You can see it the way he acted after he missed it. Larry, what are you going to bring to eat at Chalk Talk? Well, good question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that, might be, that might be on the menu. That's right. <laughs> that and a Diet Pepsi. He's got 50 so, of them in his yeah, so freezer. So no 50 he's got in the freezer. No, 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 no. no. The, Im the inventory limit is 32. <laughs> the limit. 32 is, was it, is the limit. Is it first in, first out? Well, uh, yeah, that's it. That, that, you're exactly right. <laughs> I'm going to count it, too. Be Beverly has them labeled by date. First in, first out. That's FIFO. Okay, here's Wilson throwing. This ball oh. incomplete over here on the near side, and that will give it to the Marshall Mavericks. Try right. to go back to the tight end. Ball slightly underthrown. Now we got a host of new defenders in there. I don't know though. I may eat before I come. You know, remember the Rain Man? The Rain Man had to be in front of the TV at 4:30 for Judge Wampner. <laughs> right. Well, well, we're in front of the TV at 11 a.m. for uh, Outnumbered, and then at 4:30 for Jeopardy. <laughs> not that we don't. Not that we're setting our own ways, but yeah, I guess we really are. Okay, first down and 10 for Marshall at the Bulldog 48. Can but again, you, can you answer any of the questions on Jeopardy? Are you, are you guys uh, catching this last show? Not as many as Jennifer. I, not as many as Beverly, I mean. Uh, boy, Be yeah, I can't answer as many as Beverly does. But remember, yeah, if you're coming to Chalk Talk, bring your own food. There's a flag. No cost. Okay, because... Uh, Delay of game. They will not be providing the, the food. Delay of game against Marshall. Number 30, Caleb King is in. Number 44, Ladarian Thorne. Number 81, Jakevian Tool. Otis, are we going to have a tailgate party next week? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, Glad yeah. You brought that up. Yeah, Otis, after this play, we want, we want to know the, the guys who are coming from the Cowboys right after this play. Looks like one of our guys is offside over there on that yeah. far side. He sure is. And Coach Surratt's telling him to back up, and we've got time a out timeout call. Okay, Otis, who's coming next week for the Cowboys? Well, uh, two guys that come pretty much all the time is old Nate Newton and Eugene Lockhart and Michael uh, Gallup. And can't think of Frazier's first name, but his last name is Frazier. Wow, Michael Gallup's coming. Michael Gallup is coming. He's that, been showing out. To me, yeah. that's the, isn't that the first time in quite some time that they've had a current cowboy coming? I uh, like that. If you remember, um, just tell you, I'm not a big cowboy fan because I don't even know the player. What? Name, what's the Smith guy name that plays linebacker? Oh, Jalen. Jalen Kane. You remember he was injured his rookie year, but oh, he came. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
when he came, we just didn't realize how good he we was. We didn't realize that's, that's right. <laughs> how good he was going to be. Woo-hoo, man. Okay, here's the handoff to a running back. He went to his left, now coming back to his right, and brought down, and he picks out after all that running, one yard on the play. Nate Mary on the stop. You got no. Cy Blasher in at linebacker, along with Braden Wade. You're not That's a Cowboy it. fan? No, I'm a Patriots fan. Jerry, watch out now. So, but, so fans, Michael Gallup, he had a great game in that first one against the Giants. I mean, over 100 yards receiving. And, you know, he sometimes can be overlooked when you've got uh, Randall Cobb and uh, uh, what's that top receiver's name? I forgot. Uh, Demari Cooper. Demari Cooper. But Gallup had a great game. Okay, second down and 14. And oh, and he's yeah. tackled for a loss. Big loss on the play. And for that's the Jay Brazier. There's another guy with that has a nose for the ball. So Jai Brazier, uh, Brazier with the tackle. That was a loss uh, of uh, about 10 yards. He's not French, Larry. He's Jay Brazier. Well, you've had a problem with that at the first <laughs> game. You, I mean, you, you couldn't okay, figure well, out what he was. Well. Uh, okay. You were told well, something. I was told Brazier is in Brazier, Z-U-R-E. It's really spelled Brazier, B-R-A-G-E-R. Okay, third down and 22. Third and 22 for Marshall. Snap back, and here's going to be the quarterback keeping it to the 45 midfield and finally stopped at the Carthage 49-yard line. So a gain of 11 on the play, and the clock's still rolling. 2.15 to go. Fourth down and 11. And they brought in a new linebacker, number 41. That is Kamar White. Well, we've about emptied the bench for this one, the third straight game. All right, now here's another. Taking a short drop this time, only a 10-yard drop. The punter is. There's another rainbow snap. Big rush, but he gets this one off. Line of scrimmage will be the 49, and that's going to roll to the 15, so a 34-yard kick. And Carthage will have it first and 10 at the 15. Just have to take two or three snaps, and that'll be it. Well, their biggest gains have been on punts. You know, they've had some rollers tonight. So the Bulldogs will be 3-0, and and again, have not lost a regular season game in over three years. The last loss, October the 7th, 2016, 41 to 34 over at Kilgore. And since then, the Bulldogs are undefeated in regular season games. The game after that loss at Kilgore, they started the 40 game win streak that was snapped by Liberty Hill. 140 left to play in the ball game. Carthage at their own 15. Wilson, the quarterback, offset eye in the backfield, pitch out. And this There's is another, another tail back back. to 20. <laughs> And out to the 24-yard, I make it the 25. Fulton. Fulton. Contrail Fulton. Did you ever play against the Dangerfield team that was good? Yes. So ten That was a good team, wasn't it? Yeah, the 83 team. That's a historically good team. Yeah. It was so good that we was the only team that scored a touchdown against them. And Kilgore got a safety. And that was eight points scored on them all year. First down after that, how's AC first down, 10 yard run by Fulton. And uh, that makes it, a, make it an 11 yard run to the 25 yard line. First down and 10 there. 60 seconds to go. Pitch out to Fulton again. Fulton coming left, 30, 35. Got another how's AC first down, 40, 45. And out of bounds near midfield. That's going to be a gain from the 25 to the uh, 49, a gain of 26 more yards. And another house AC first down. 51 seconds to go. Okay, so Carthage first and 10 now at the Marshall 49. And let's see, that was Fulton on the – was that a new, another court, another running back after Fulton on that one? No, four. that that was, that was Fulton. Okay, mm-hmm. number four, yeah. Cartrell Fulton, senior. Okay, Wilson, the quarterback, under center. Pitch out to Fulton. Fulton coming left. 45, mm, 40, got... and down to the 35-yard line. Make it the 34, I believe. They keep the clock rolling after they uh, move the chains. Another Cows AC first down. And 
Tell you what, we're not short on running backs. No, we're not. That's the gain of 14 <laughs> more. And that's going to do it right there. Carthage is going to win this one, the final from Bulldog Stadium. Carthage 38 and Marshall 6, back right after this. Wyndham Family Dental at 406 Cora Street in Center is here with personalized service and a professional atmosphere. Wyndham Family Dental serves East Texas with skill and attention that only Wyndham Family Dental can give. It'll only take one visit for you to recognize that Wyndham Family Dental is different. Call and schedule your appointment today at Wyndham Family Dental, 936-598-2923. Wyndham Family Dental, where we've been getting to know the person behind the smile for 40 years. Prosperity Bank is proud to be a part of the Carthage community. We can offer you big bank services with the feel of a community bank. We have you covered with over 240 locations throughout Texas and Oklahoma. Whether you're looking for a more traditional checking account or saving services, or if you need cash management, mobile banking, trust, mortgage, or lending services, we can provide you and your business the resources you need to succeed. Stop by the Carthage Banking Center to begin banking with the best today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS 460. 614 loan subject to credit approval. We'll be back in just a moment with uh, Larry's wrap up. Throughout Texas, Louisiana, and New Mexico, one of the largest independent oil field service companies is Pinergy, ranked number one in the United States for total number of wells drilled. You'll likely recognize Pinergy Carthage top management, Randy Taylor, Brandon Taylor, Andy Snow, Justin Taylor, and Steve Nations. At the Austin Corporate Office, senior management offers a combined 400 years experience regarding energy services. No more. Check the website, Pinergy.com, or call 903-693-8400. Pinergy. Larry, are you ready? Ready. Friday night at Bulldog Stadium, the Marshall Mavericks and Carthage Bulldogs getting together, and Carthage scored first, 28-yard pass to Craig McNew, 7-0 Dogs, 8.39 to play in the first. Less than two minutes later, a 65-yard pass for the Mavericks. They did not convert on the extra point. Carthage up 7-6, 7.09 to play until half. Nine-yard pass to Calvante Dixon, 14-6 Dogs. 37 seconds left to play until halftime, and a 33-yard field goal by the Bulldogs, and they let it have 17-6. The lead increased to 24-6 with 5.07 to play in the third on a seven-yard pass to Kel Williams. It went to 31-6, 2.58 to play in the third quarter. A seven-yard pass this time to Kelvante Dixon. And the final score of the night, another touchdown pass to Kelvante Dixon, his third TD reception of the night, 69 yards on this one, 9.57 to play in the fourth quarter. Carthage wins it 38-6. to Here are the statistics. Carthage 25 first downs, Marshall with seven. Carthage 168 yards on the ground. Marshall had 104. Carthage threw the air 20 to 34 for 246 yards. Marshall 6 of 11 for 89 yards. Each team had one turnover. Penalties, Carthage 7 for 64. Marshall 11 for 85. Punts, Carthage with their first punt of the entire season. It went for 52 yards. And Marshall, four punts for a 36-yard average. The Marshall Mavericks are now 0-3 for the season. The Carthage Bulldogs start off a perfect 3-0. The Dogs at home next Friday night against the Gilmer Buckeyes. Once again, your final score Friday night from Bulldog Stadium in Marshall in Carthage, Texas. The Carthage Bulldogs 38, Marshall Mavericks 6. For your Sports Speed Station, I'm Larry Allen. Okay, now down to... Uh, XL sideline Mike and Jason Wade. Well, we're not quite ready yet. Okay. We're not quite ready. Uh, do, a, do about a minute commercial. We'll be ready. Okay. If you need construction done, check with Carlos and Shane Courtney at Courtney Construction Incorporated. They're the best in the business, whether it's pipeline or dirt work, oil field maintenance or general construction. The Courtneys are well experienced. Call them at 903-694-2911 or drop by 1300 Northeast Loop in Carthage. When you need it done right, call Courtney Construction Incorporated. They'll get it done. Hey Carthage, this is Matt, Jessica, and Dustin with Elliot Crosser Dodge Jeep Ram of Carthage. And we are here for Ram Power Days. Jessica, what do we have? Right now you can get an all new Ram 1500 with 395 horsepower. <laughs> That's a lot of power. 395 horsepower, it's so hard to say. Or, this is your line Dustin, <laughs> I'll do it for you. Or a Ram 3500 comes with 900 foot-pounds of torque. Good you call Dustin. Power? <laughs> Ram has it for you. <laughs> you can find them at your Ram dealer, Elliot and CDJR of Carthage, and that was a train wreck. Okay, just 
Dustin, uh, <laughs> Jason, Jason Wade, how best, been a long night, hasn't it? Are you ready? Be safe. Uh, there can, we go. Can you get me? Okay. Yeah, we're just about ready. Uh, somebody beat me to the punch. Run up there and, and tell that TV person you won't talk. Okay. I know, cause nobody wants to see and hear, but here it comes. Here it comes. All right, guys. Thank you, Coach. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, hey, Coach Rad. Uh, Bulldogs 3-0, and you know, uh, just talk about the game, you know, the positives and the, ne and the negatives that you're going to take away from tonight's uh, victory. Well, positive, obviously we won, and, uh, you know, we bogged down on a couple drives, and defensively played great again. We give up the one touchdown on a big play on the third down alone, but, you know, we, we, hopefully we can score more than six every game, and uh, so if they'll just keep playing well, and I know they will, um, but, you know, just – very positive outcome, obviously. I don't think we had any injuries, and, you know, we played very well, especially the second half. We turned it up a level. Yeah, second half, it's, it's, it's good that you mentioned that. I noticed the level really went up, but, you know, especially from Marshall's side, and then your guys responded. How did you like how your guys responded? I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. We missed we missed the first drive of the fourth down there, and uh, but other than that, we, we really turned it up. We were very physical. I think our offensive line handled it. You know, and again, we want to throw the throw the ball around, and but uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna run it when it's big, big game. There's no doubt about it. Uh, more, but uh, you know, we're just excited to be three and zero, and we got a lot of confidence, and we got to just continue to get better. And uh, start next week. Here comes Gilmer Buckeyes coming. To, I mean, it's just a, it's a good schedule, isn't it? It's a great schedule. You know, it's going to be a tough schedule every year, and you know, we know that, and you know, we're very fortunate to, to get to play these great teams and uh, are these really good teams, and it gets us better for what we want to do in district, and hopefully getting better going into playoffs. All right, once again, Coach, congratulations on victory number three. Appreciate it. Uh, shout out to Coach Mack again. We're praying for you, buddy. Yes, thank you, guys. Uh, that was Coach Saran. Back to you guys up in the booth. You've been listening to Carthage Bulldog football on your sports beat station, KGAS. Providing the play-by-play -play has been Larry Allen. Our color commentators tonight have been Mark Harris and Otis Amy. Jason Wade has been on the sidelines with the sideline mic. Remember to stay tuned to the East Texas Scoreboard Show immediately following this broadcast. For the entire Sportsbeat team, I'm Jerry Hansen saying so long, everyone. Everyone.